What's up guys, Ron here and welcome to my channel. I know it's been a while since my last tutorial video but here I am and we're back for something special for our beginners out there. So today I'll be doing a tutorial on the mic release. You guys heard me right, it's called mic release, not mic release. So if you, if you want to step up your jump rope freestyle game, then this video is just right for you. If you are new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button to get updated with the latest content. Also, if you find this video helpful, please do like and comment down below your comments and suggestions for future content. Now, please don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Wondersalon and check out my other jump rope content. So coming right up is our week release tutorial, so let's get into it. In this video, you will learn one of the fanciest jump rope moves, the mic release. This is a move that most freestyle skippers have in their arsenal as they execute different kinds of releases, creating a whole new dimension of jump rope routines. As a beginner, here are a few things you should know before you learn this trick. There are two methods of release that you can learn and master. The wrist pop and the tissue box. The wrist pop is probably the most common or perhaps the conventional method, especially if you are just starting to learn the mic release. On the other hand, the tissue box method is commonly used when using PVC ropes or long handles. However, for this tutorial, I will be teaching you how to nail the tissue box method RT style. I personally had a hard time executing the wrist pop method up until now, which is why I stopped with the tissue box. Now, let's talk about the types of rope that you can use to learn the mic release. First is the beaded rope. This is actually the best choice when starting to learn the release. Aside from great feedback which will allow you to have better control of the rope, it also has a variety of color combinations to choose from and has shatterproof handles. Next, we have the 5mm PVC rope. Yes, you can still learn the mic release with this, however, the PVC rope does not have enough feedback and at the same time most PVC rope handles are not as durable as with the beaded ropes, making you worry each time it would hit the ground. The PVC long handles is actually my new personal favorite which you can see on my recent videos. Though for this tutorial, I'll be using the beaded rope to help you learn much easier and quicker. When it comes to rope length, the shorter the rope is, the easier it becomes to control and manipulate. However, as a beginner, you may want to start at a slightly longer rope, then gradually shorten as you become more comfortable in doing the make release. Here are a couple of drills that you can practice prior to learning the actual make release. These drills can help you know your rope better to have a great feel of its feedback and momentum when rotating it. First, while holding one handle and the other on the ground in front of you, slowly spin the rope clockwise if you're right-handed until you create momentum. From this position, you keep the rope rotating horizontally. Just make sure that it does not hit your legs or feet. This is a good exercise to take control of the rope while in rotation. Next up, slowly bring the rotation to your left side if you're spinning with your right hand. From a horizontal arc, we now transfer to a vertical arc. In this position, we are trying to mimic the actual rotation of the rope during a make release. Let's now learn the make release. This trick is actually composed of three steps. The swing, release, and the catch. The swing or entry point can be done two ways. First, by coming from a side swing, and then the make release, tissue box method. To nail this perfectly, you must be able to follow the momentum of the rope and then release the handle as soon as the rope is on its way up. The second entry point would be coming from a regular bounce. As you can see from the video, the rope comes from the back, simulating a regular jump. Then, as the rope is about to pass under, you quickly release the left handle while the right hand comes across to retain. Finally, do a toe catch to complete the drill. Having a successful toe catch means you will be able to jump over it in the actual execution. 
Knowing the timing of the release is just as important as catching the rope. When doing the tissue box method, make sure to flick the handle up with controlled force and at your own pace. The rope should be close enough and in front of you as you release, creating a vertical arc. This way, it would be easier to track and catch the handle. Also notice how I rotate the rope a bit higher prior to catching it. This is to offset the drop, caused by gravity of course, and move the handle at left pocket side for an easy catch. Lastly, you have to catch the rope back. As mentioned earlier, having a good technique will result most of the time to catching the rope at the left side pocket. Though it is important to note that it is no guarantee to be able to catch it by the handle, this is one of the struggles when starting to learn the meat release via tissue box method. In most cases, I would catch the top of the handle or the rope itself. It is just a matter of making adjustments by sliding your hand back to the handle without breaking the routine. Here are a few things that you should avoid doing when learning the meat release tissue box method. Do not extend your Titian hand too far or too close. Do not throw the rope too far to the side. Do not rotate the rope too low or too high. There is no better way to end this tutorial than to show you some jump rope freestyle with the different make release variations I know so far. Learning this trick can be very challenging and I can attest to that by experience, but it is just a matter of practice. Just keep on grilling the make release again and again and please do not be discouraged each time the rope does not rotate properly or if you are not able to catch the handle. Just keep in mind all the tips and drills discussed and you'll be in good hands. Enjoy the process, keep safe, stay healthy, and peace.